Chess friends, welcome back. Another day of the grind. Let's see what we can do. We're playing med FA zero from Syria, Egypt. Close. Very close. Okay, so I realized that I've been playing a slight variation on the London. I think someone told me it's called the Accelerated London. I actually had no idea. Um, I was always throwing my bishop out on f4 first and then getting the knife out, knight out to f3. But uh, apparently that's just a sort of faster variation. Um, and I had no idea. It's all good though. Now I know. Um, okay, cool. So go e3. Having one of those I really need to sneeze but can't get it out moments. Um, okay, cool. We can probably castle early here. Let's see. Not really any threats to worry about so far. He could potentially go queen b6. Try to pressure b2. Uh, which is fine. I can always go b3. I'll just go d3. Should be fine here. At some point I want to go h3. So I can sneak my bishop in if I have to. Um, I don't know how aggressive he's going to be with these pawn pushes. He's formed quite the pawn formation at the very beginning of the game. Uh, without actually developing any pieces, so um, it's definitely a strategy. <laughs> Offer the trade. I'm really tempted to just go c3 to tell you the truth. And just complete the London system. Instead of just letting him get his bishop out. I, I don't know what the what would be the real difference to doing this. Hmm. I'm just gonna try C3. If he goes Queen B6, I at least have options to defend B2 now. Um, this is fine. I can just move the bishop back. He's created a sort of a lot of diag open diagonals um, on his queen side here. So the question is, do we fall back to c2 or e2? c2 is interesting because it allows for the check. Also, I suppose I could go for the check. He could just bring out his bishop though, in which case I would uh, lose my bishop on d3. So I'll opt to just play e2 with the bishop. His uh, light square bishop is going to have a difficult time. He's uh, really walled it in here. Yeah, the bishop's only option is really going to just be this diagonal here. Okay. I just am so curious on where this is going to go. A single piece has not been developed. I kind of hope he pushes the pawn so I can just get the queen out already. Um, I have a really nice square D, uh, e5. For my bishop, uh, excuse me, my knight. Kind of struggling with my chess terminology here today. I'm really tempted to go a4. 
and get the queen out here. Um, I think I'm just going to play that. If he pushes, I'm also okay. If he pushes b4, what would I do? Okay. So he's obviously kind of setting up a trap to take the rook here. This is probably a good a time as ever to develop the knight, protect the rook. Yeah, he's just very exposed. I just want to find some way to like take advantage of it here. Um, but my pieces are a little bit tight. So I think I have to... I always develop the knight this way too to a3 a3 or d2 just go d2 it's more london system -y. only problem is uh, the knight doesn't have great places to go afterwards it's the only downside here but my pieces are fairly developed the only thing I haven't really developed is sort of the queen and the rooks. Um, so I'm a bit further up in development than he is. Um, I really just need to find a way to take advantage of that. I might go e4. Um, I have a decent amount of defense on e4, and I could potentially start to break open his pawn wall here. I think e4 would cause some damage to him. Yeah, okay. So that was somewhat expected. He does want a pawn. Or no, 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 excuse me. It's an even exchange. Um, if I take on b4. really tempted to just let him take. Um, I don't know if he's trying to push to b3 and sort of create a mega connected pawn wall here. I mean, if I could get a knight out to d6, that would be pretty cool. Uh, just kidding. Bishop's defending that. Forget everything I just said. Take the pawn or not take the pawn. Sort of invites this queen onto my side of the board. Uh, and then he has a knight as well. Which I'm not thrilled about. Maybe I just push up. Hmm. No, he wins a pawn if he goes c3. I don't have any defense on c3 besides the pawn. So I probably can't go b3, huh? Also, that blocks in. Uh, sort of defense here. I think I'll just go for the trade. Yeah, b4 is a really good square for him. He's got uh, three pieces defending there. Uh, a bit unfortunate. I'm surprised he took with the queen. I, I think a better move for him would have been to take with the bishop there, but that's, that's just me. My dark square bishop is really inactive. Hmm. My knight's in a bad spot. Oh, my pawn's undefended as well. Yeah, I have to defend the pawn on b2. I'm going to go queen c1. Defends the knight, defends the pawn. 
and the pawn is still defended. If he goes something like d7, I can always just push the pawn up and still have the rook protect on a5. I'll go queen c1. My goal is going to be to sort of bully his queen off of my side, uh, my side of the board, which is why I want to push e4. So I can at least um, sort of give my bishop the ability to go backwards if needed. I know it doesn't really pressure the queen, but my bishop is just not doing a whole lot. Right? So this is exactly what I was uh, talking about. I believe a5 is the only move here. Just wish I had another way to pressure his queen. Could always offer the trade here. And I believe this move, if we went through with the exchange, does win a bishop if he were to take the pawn, which I don't think he will. This should force his queen back. Right, c3 should force his queen back. I'm still defending the pawn. His queen has no threats. Um, yeah, I think queen, c queen c3 is okay. I'm not sure if a5 or queen c3 was to play there. I, I really want to push e4 already. Was I calling that square e5 earlier? I may have been calling it e5. Eh. e4. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, this will, this will kind of force him to think a little bit. Probably b7. b7 or b6 is going to be his best move. I mean, really, his best move for me... It's going to be b8, but obviously he's not going to play that. <laughs> you never know. Okay. So I could pressure his queen a little bit more with a5. This may force his queen to retreat even more. Which is kind of an interesting idea. I do like the idea of just bullying the queen. E4. But man, the, the queen bully is, is just too hard to pass up. And I'm still defending b2 with queen c3. And now this sort of makes his uh, bishop uh, attacking nothing. Or attack nothing, rather. Yeah, so I do like this. I do like where this is going. Hmm. Could always possibly go for just pawn b3. Hmm. Maybe just getting the rook out to be. <clears throat> To b1 is an idea as well. It's kind of a developing move. Hmm. This is just en passant, right? Isn't that just en passant? Yeah. Okay, so it's either e4 or rook b1. This is en passant, right? Couldn't he just take that? Yeah, I believe I believe it is. I can't go on b4. E4, rook f1. Or rook b1, excuse me. I look I like rook b1. It puts a rook on a semi-open file, which is always good. He hasn't castled, so I could start going after his center. The knight is a bit trapped here on d2. 
I think I'm just going to go with my gut. And go e4. I also had the option of e5 with the knight. Sort of pressuring his bishop. But there's a lot of places he could just move that away. Interesting. Hmm. So he did just remove it. An attacker from b2. That's something to keep in mind. Obviously, I have to move my queen. I think c2 is the only move here. I could push up c3 next. Break up the front of his pawn chain a little bit. But this knight is valuable. This knight is valuable for e4. I love his knight position on a6 now. It's 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 very inactive. Could possibly try to attack his bishop. Um, his knight, or excuse me, his bishop on b4 is an active threat, so I want to think about how we're gonna like neutralize that. Okay, this gets his knight onto a really good square d5, uh, which I don't like, but I do like the idea of breaking up his pawn chain, it kind of creates a one lonely pawn on the C file for him. Um, so I'm just going to opt to do that. I know he could take with the queen as well too, but... I suppose we'll see. If he recaptures with the queen, I do have a decent move of... Uh... Okay, yeah, he didn't, he didn't opt to go for that. This bis bishop is in a less than ideal place. I've been wanting to play rook b1 for a while. And this sets up the rook to more or less be on the same file as the queen. Um, maybe I should start thinking about getting the rooks onto e and d. Um, he does still have the option to castle too, so I need to keep that in mind. Okay, so he gets his uh, he gets his queen off of the the file, same file as the rook there. Um, I want to pressure his uh, his bishop. Like ideally, I'd like to go like bishop d2 or something. I can pressure his knight. Can't really reroute the knights to attack his bishop. Either go after the bishop or... Hmm. Both of these seem like fine moves. Just try to go after the bishop. This this does give um what am I missing here? Ah, right. 
that just loses a queen. Pretty unfortunate square. Hmm. I wonder if I can check him anyway. Yeah, man, I don't have the check anywhere either. If I had the check, I could potentially get my queen out of here, but it doesn't look like I do. Yeah, good move from he from him. Looks like I'll be losing. Uh, I could always block in. Could always block in and take his queen, but just not not the best move. No, I, I'm gonna have to move my queen. Oh, I do have this check. Ah, uh, yeah. That does. Uh, it's a little bit unfortunate too. I'm I'm gonna be forced back to a two if he blocks in with the bishop. I'm hoping he kind of blocks with the knight. Um, honestly, if he just blocks with the queen, I'm fine to trade that off as well. I need to keep in mind that um, he sort of has a double attack going here at the moment. Um, so my next move will probably be... Oh, okay, this is actually perfect. So this allows me to um, kind of salvage my rook here. I uh, kind of hope he takes the knight. Oh, wow. I may just offer the knight trade. If we take with the knight, or if we take the knight, he puts his queen out to d7. And then I don't really have a good place to go because he has uh, two defenders on d7 there. My knight is just in the worst of spots. I think I'm going to go b3. Uh, if he takes, I can at least get my knight out. Or uh, more likely, I'll just take with the queen. Kind of get, get it off of the rim. Got two defenders for the knight. He really only has one attacker. So e5 is considered to be a knight outpost at this point, so I think that's a good square for it, right? This is an outpost. I remember I was having a conversation with some of you about sort of what a knight outpost is. I was using that term kind of incorrectly before. But as far as I understand, a knight outpost is just when a pawn is backing up a knight. Took the knight. Interesting. Man, why would he take the knight? Hmm. I think taking the pawn is better here. Isn't it? Is taking the pawn the best? Doesn't this win a pawn? I wasn't expecting him to do that. Hmm.
I think taking with the pawn was the best move there. His bishop on d2 is... Oh, I missed a really obvious move there, guys. I missed a really obvious move. That was... That was that was really bad. That that was just what a poor vision. I should have seen that. Yeah, that that's a real bummer. That's a real bummer. Man, kind of disappointed about that. Hmm. I could continue to just. Man, he's really up now. This sucks. Really unfortunate. Uh, I have to fall back with the knight. This doesn't do anything. Man, what a bummer. I think I have to go F3. Um, if he takes, I don't want the knight to be under attack on d3. Man, really disappointed that I missed that that bishop there. I, I should have taken it. I should have taken it with the rook at least. Yeah, I just got too fixated on this part of the board and didn't see it, but it's okay. Um, They're... Maybe some way to salvage this, we'll see. Fortunately, if he takes the pawn, I have um, a pretty easy way to take it back. I don't really want to stack the pawns. Mm, kind of want to pressure his bishops a little bit. With the knight, it's not super active on this square. Also, my queen is just generally doing nothing. Hmm. I can always threaten this way too. Yeah, I want to back this pawn up. Let's see once protected. I'm um, okay. I'm low on time, so I kind of just have to start making moves. Yeah, maybe it's time to take his deep on. My knight really has no great place to escape here at the moment. Um, so maybe I just try to attack his bishop that's on f4 to at least give my knight some breathing room here. 
No, I won't be surprised if he pushes up like g5 or something. It's going to be a bit of a stretch, but he probably could win my c-pawn here um, if he really wanted to. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was kind of expecting that. I was I, I was expecting some attack on the knight. Um, he he can win the c pawn here. By the way, he can just uh, take, and he has this queen to back up. So I don't know if he's noticed that yet or yet or not. But yeah, having c one protected this game is a little bit rough. Oh, that's defended by the queen, too. Ugh. Oh, man. Why am I just missing so many things this game? Rough. Why am I missing so many things this game? Man, rough game, honestly. <laughs> I've never played an opponent that's been so aggressive with the pawns. Um, yeah, it's a bit strange. Uh, he wins the pawn here. Man. Wow, what a move. Yeah, he wins the pawn now. Yeah, rough. Ah, uh, bummer deal, man. I'm obviously just going to keep playing this one out, but I'm just really so curious to figure out like where this game fell apart. Um, I have a knight, but he takes retakes with the queen. I don't know. I kind of just have to play fast here and hope for the best. That was obviously going to happen. I really wish I could have found some way to get my, um, my A Rook more involved in this game. But it was really just so actively defending the the a pawn just seemed like a really underutilized piece um and now it's going to be a little bit tricky for my king to move because he's got the diagonal covered here
Might take a miracle to win this one. Not a lie. He'll probably be looking for like queen f3 or something next. Normally I'm all for trading off pieces, but obviously I can't trade here. His bishop's in a little bit of a pickle. If he's willing to give that up, he probably has us. Oh, sure. So he's got a defense there. Um, I'll add another defender. Uh, that loses a rook. Rough game. This is just mate, actually. Uh, ugh. Ugh. Figure out where this went wrong. Damn. Ugh. Game gave me anxiety. Where did it go wrong? I played one bad move and it just threw the advantage. Man. Ugh. This was this is where it fell apart. So silly. Yeah, it's just poor vision on my part. I I, I should have noticed this bishop here. Um, I had two go two good options to take it, and um, I don't know why I was so fixated on the pawn. Yeah, honestly, I just failed to notice my bishop here. It's kind of dumb, but yeah, frustrating, but. So just out of curiosity, if he were to take here. So black has such a big advantage here now. No way. I'm shocked. Really? Man, why is recapturing with the bishop here so bad? Hmm. So taking with the rook was the only only good move, huh? That's an inaccuracy. Mm. Yeah, okay. Well, let's take it from the top and see if we could have learned anything else. A, D4, D5. Book move, book move. C4. C4. Gotcha. This is the one thing about the London that I feel like I need to just drive into my head is that it seems like the London wants an early C4. So I really need to start remembering that. That sort of let him hurl his pawns down the A, B, and uh, or the B and C uh, files. Let's just see how this would have played out. Yeah, now I would have had the advantage and he wouldn't have had this uh, massive connected uh, pawn chain here. Not connected pawn chain, just pawn chain. <laughs> gotcha. So early C4. I really need to remember that about the London. I, I really need to. Um, I'm always really hesitant to play that move. Uh, what does the engine recommend here? Bishop C2. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, my poor F4 bishop was just so useless the whole game once it got out here. Yeah. Yeah, let's keep going. C4. Okay. From now on, we remember that. Uh, A4. Could have won the trade there. 
Yeah, I mean, he could have just brought his uh, bishop out too. Oh, looks like I had that idea eventually. Let me push the pawns up. Ring b4 is a miss. And then what? 95? Hmm. Wouldn't he just push? Knight f6. He takes on b3. Doesn't this just lose a knight? Oh no, 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 no. Queen's defending that. Never mind. Right. Hmm. Gotcha. Okay. That's cool. Let's go back to bishop d7 here. Queen c3 was the bad idea. Engine wanted him to trade. Okay. Yeah, I was okay with the queen trade here. I just wanted to simplify the game. But Engine had other ideas. Looks like e4 was a good idea, at least. Um, I liked the idea of attacking his pawn chain and trying to break that up. So, really? Taking the pawn with the knight. Someone explained to me. And this is just a huge advantage here. Not even taking the queen? Well, let's be real. He would have taken the queen. Let's, let's be fully transparent here. Oh, <laughs> the fork. Yeah, that, this line is above my comprehension. So, yeah, I, I, I would not have been able to see that. Yeah, th there's, there's no way this, this line would have ever played out, let's be honest. <laughs> Protecting the pawn was not the play. This move doesn't hurt you, but it doesn't help you much either. Yeah. This is kind of going back to what I was saying during the game, is that there was the option to either attack his bishop with uh, knight e5, or attack his knight with bishop e5. The more I look at it, the more this makes sense now with the bishop. I mean, bishop e5, he's kind of more or less forced to uh, move his knight to a better spot. And then this... Uh, is essentially just a three pawn. Well, even that, uh, yeah, and so if you take, take, yeah, this would have been a much better position here. Lots of lessons in this game, not gonna lie. But this was an okay move too, according to the engine, so. The check was good. The check was the only way to save the queen here, as far as I could tell. Ah, so getting the knight out, it's defended by the queen. Ah. And that attacks his bishop. Right. Yeah. My synopsis for this game is it was one blunder that threw away the advantage. Um it really sucks when that happens <laughs> but it's just part of the learning process so yeah it really just fell apart after the pawn move here so please 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 spare throwing the cabbages at me and the tomatoes for not spotting that <laughs> honestly i think it's it, i think it's okay if we just skip the rest of the review um, we we all kind of see where it fell apart. So it was just one oversight, threw away the game. And um, oh well, it happens. You live and you learn and you move on. But uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching. I'll uh, see you guys uh, tomorrow.